Thank you for joining today's reflection. A couple of Sundays ago, Kenny and Emily were sharing about how some young people had helped out during the pandemic. It was great to hear such positive feedback about these young people. At the moment, Kenny, along with some others, are part of a growing young course, which is looking at how to bring young people into the leadership and decision making of the church. How do we encourage our young people to stay and not drift away from the family of God? I think it's an exciting time and it made me think about our Kirk family. On Sunday, John was reminding us of Luke 2 where Jesus was lost to his parents because he'd stayed on at the temple and they not realising that he was part of the, the family going back home. Um, they'd gone home, they'd done the long journey and they had to go back and look for him. And from from the conversation between Jesus and his parents, it showed that Jesus was moving to adulthood and his parents had misunderstood him. I think it's a really important thing for us not to make assumptions about each other, especially between generations. In the Kirk, we are made up of all ages, with perhaps some gaps. And I have the privilege of meeting many through, through being around Liberton Kirk and the Kirk Centre. And I'm often struck by the quiet ministry that goes on, people looking out for each other. And I believe that that happens across the age span. I'm excited about the possibility of the Young People's Service Week in the summer, if it can happen, depending on what's going on with um, the virus at the time. A group of young people will serve folk in a variety of ways. And I think of Jesus and how he mentored his disciples, teaching them and challenging them and loving them. And Emily and Kenny will be doing just that with their team of young people. And for those of us that are further along our faith journey, we can pass on our experience and we can help younger people. We can also learn from them too. We're never too old to learn. I don't believe in that saying that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I think that we can all learn from each other. And I was thinking about, you know, little seeds. When you plant them, you often plant them in pots, bring them on a bit and strengthen them. And then when you see the shoots coming, and the weather conditions are right, you plant them out. And then hopefully they'll be strong enough and they'll grow. Sometimes they might need the support of a, a stake to help them grow tall. And I was just thinking that that's something that we do with each other. And particularly with our young people. Let's nurture each other and help each other grow. We're all in an important part of the family and we've all got a part to play in looking out for each other, encouraging each other and making a difference in each other's lives, as well as reaching out and making a difference in other people's lives as we share about Jesus. And you know, if you think of some examples in the Bible, I'm sure you can think of some, where God used young people. He spoke to a very young Samuel. He had David. Um, he was with David when he killed Goliath. So young people are important to God, and so are the older people important to God. In fact, we're all important to God, and God loves us. And I just believe that he wants us to really listen to one another. John was encouraging us on Sunday to do that, to listen to each other, and to get to know each other, both young and old. And I just want to leave you with that final encouragement because what affects young people affects us too. And what their needs are, are not really very different from our needs. So I encourage you to bless our young people if you're older. And young people, I encourage you to bless our older people and all of us in between. So let's pray together. Father God, we're just so thankful um, for the example of Jesus, the way that he um, grew and he wasn't afraid to take up leadership at a young age. We think of other examples like David and Samuel. And Father, we, we think too about the older generation and how they have served faithfully for years and years. So Father, help those of us that are further on in our faith journey, encourage those who are younger and help those who are younger to encourage us, those of us who are older. Father God, we are a family and we are in this together. Lord, bless us at the Kirk and bless our Kirk family. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Thanks for listening.